first season as Rays manager, 80 and 82, obviously not the result you were hoping for, but what was one thing you know you uh, learned in your first year and that was something that you had to really deal with quickly as a manager to be successful? Well, we had to learn how to deal with injuries pretty quickly. Um, and with those injuries came you know, some positive things because we found out about some other players, some younger players. Um, and you know, the nice thing is we finished the year with some of those injured players returning back to form. Matt Moore, Drew Smiley. As far as learning, you learn daily. We talk about in-game situations. We talk about conversations. Uh, just the overall communication with our players is something that uh, you know you, you're going to have to do when you get the job. Uh, the appreciation is that much more uh, at the end of the year for, for how, how much of a constant that is. Extra inning games were obviously a little bit of a disappointment. What's one of the key areas, whether that's the bullpen or whether that's to more timely hitting, that has to improve to be better in those situations? Uh, ultimately, that, that's me. That's on me. I've got to get better in those situations and, and finding, guys, finding ways to put our guys in positions to succeed. And by saying that, uh, whether you pinch hit or you don't, whether you put in a reliever or you don't. Um, so uh, the experience that we gain from those tight ball games is tremendous. Uh, we'll, we'll be that much better going forward, and, and I will be as a manager also. Matt Silverman was just saying in the press conference how he believes this team is and this organization is talented as it's been in probably a decade. From that perspective, what's the best way for you as a manager to put them in the best positions to succeed and then the coaches to really bring them into their own and utilize their talent fully to their capability? Well, I mean, the guys that we have here or had for the bulk of the year, we know them as a staff and, and, and we know the way to communicate with them. And then there's some of the guys that Matt referred to that we didn't see and that we'll, we'll get to see in spring training. So it's going to take that a little bit of an adjustment period to, to build those relationships with those guys. We, you got to trust our, our front office, our, our minor league development. Development, uh, system and, and, and kind of hit the ground running in spring training. But uh, the way our staff works with our players, uh, they'll, they'll be able to connect. They do a tremendous job with that. What are your off-season goals entering to Port Charlotte come February? Well, I, I, the, the, the ultimate goal is that, that uh, you know, our guy, continue to talk with the, all the players, uh, reach out to them, check in on them. Um, you know, the front office has different goals than maybe the coaching staff does. Uh, just be involved in a lot of healthy discussion. What, we're, we're able to review now for three or four months on what we uh, what we liked that we that we did what we didn't and and continue to get better